Good morning, everybody. This is Adam Sweet. Uh, today, I want to show you how to play the G major scale on the mandolin. Um, so, just like uh, with all major scales, we're going to follow the the uh, root whole whole half whole 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 half intervals uh, for this scale. Um, that means the root note would be G, and then a whole step up uh, would be A, then a half. Um, Another whole step would be B, and then a half would be C, and then three holds would be D, E, F, and F sharp, sorry, and then finally G. And we're going to do two octaves, and I'm going to use my fourth finger on the seventh fret. Um, and um, so it goes like this. We're going to start with open G. Then a whole step up will be um, A, so first finger on the second fret G string. Uh, then a whole step up would be B, so second finger on the fourth fret G string. Uh, then uh, the next note, a whole step up would be, I'm sorry, a half step up would be C, so third finger on the fifth fret uh, G string. Uh, then a whole step up would be D, so fourth finger on the seventh fret G string. Uh, then uh, a whole step up would be E, so first finger on the uh, second fret D string. Uh, then a whole step up will be F sharp, so second finger on the fourth fret um, D string. Uh, then G again, this is the octave, so a whole step up from F sharp is G. Sorry, a half step up from uh, F sharp is G which is fifth fret, uh, third finger on the fifth fret D string. Uh, then we're gonna go do a second octave. So then we need a uh, fourth finger on the seventh fret D string is A. Uh, first finger on the second fret A string is B. Uh, second finger on the third fret A string is C. Then a uh, third finger on the uh, fourth fret, sorry, fifth fret uh, A string is uh, D. Fourth finger on the seventh fret A string is E. Uh, first finger on the second fret E string is F sharp. And the last note is G. Uh, second finger on the third fret E string. All right, so let me do that real slow without all the talking and just show you where I put my fingers. Um, just one comment about my first finger. So no matter what position I'm in, this is first position, uh, starting on the fifth fret is third position, starting on the eighth fret is fourth, and so on. No matter where, what position I'm in, I'm always uh, oriented around my first finger. So when I'm, I'm, when I'm going up the scale uh, from the four, fourth finger on the preceding string, I always move my first finger into position first before moving my other fingers off the other string. So let me just show you. So here we are, seventh, uh, fourth finger on the seventh fret G string. Now I'm going to move my first finger into place uh, to the second fret on the D string before I lift up these other fingers and start putting them into place. Okay. And I only the only reason why I'm doing that is because I'm orienting myself around the first finger, okay? I hope this uh, was helpful to you, and if you have any questions, I'm always online. You can contact me through my website, um, and thank you very much for watching this video.